Hello everybody and welcome back to some Nuclear Throne Ultra. We are back once again and this time I want to play as a bit of a YV. We also got the randomized golden weapon option added to the game already. I only requested this like a few days ago and he already added it. So pretty awesome to see. Obviously it doesn't matter for characters that don't currently have uh, a lot of golden weapons, but as we progress, we're going to unlock more and more of those, um, and so it'll start to become more relevant. For example, if we play as Crystal, we have quite a lot of golden weapons unlocked, as you can see. So it's going to be fun to have that randomized option, and just see how that ends up playing out for us. Uh, we can have some fun with this. I have checked what our um, uh, B and C skins are. Basically, it's unlocking a lot of golden weapons. Not something you can do in a single run. But anyways, jump in as good old YV. We uh, basically, with this guy, can right-click to double fire our weapon which is pretty darn useful for like insta killing it's pretty nice it's pretty nice I, I really like yv just for, to be honest the fact that he starts with a base increase to his fire rate is something that i really really like so that's always nice that i max hp there should have gone for the hp then the chest because then i would have got some over healing which would have been rather useful but it's okay that we didn't uh i'll take this why not and we'll take a, a Toxic Revolver as well. Ah, bugger, he hit me. No, there's ammo down there, damn it. Um, okay, what do we want to go for here? Could go with a Cycle Gland, because we're using a lot of bullets right now, but I think I'm going to go for Rabbit's Paw instead. And we'll try and uh, use our Toxic Poison here. Sparingly, but effectively, essentially. That's what I want to do. I just hurt myself with it already. Ooh, Bullet Popper. Bullet Popper's more fun than Toxic, because Toxic can get me hurt super easily, so let's go for that. Bullet Popper with Pop Pop. That's something I can get behind. Good, good. We've opened up one of these. Let me just quickly grab that. And yeah, we'll go to the Inverted Land. Why not? Um, What are we going to grab here? We'll go with Alkaline Saliva. Ooh, this place looks awesome. God damn it. I don't think I've been down here before. I love the pink aesthetic. Uh, we've got some poison-based enemies here. Okay, so this, this area is full of poison-based enemies, so... Good to know. Really goddamn cool, though. I'm liking this a lot. Ooh, that's pretty cool that it, like, explodes into lasers. I also like that. Yeah, I'm trying to be cautious here while st still trying to get the kills I want. Ooh, I'm, I'm curious to see what that dude does. Okay, a lot is what he does. Luckily, Alkaline Saliva saved us a little bit there. Let's grab Lightning for this. Crossbow I'll take as well. I do want to try and kill this guy if I can. There you go. Just a little bit of extra stuff for us, right? Why not? That's a pretty cool stage there. Um, we'll go with... Um, we'll go with Puffy Cheeks here, I think. And then we have Lightning on this. I really like this as an alt stage, though. Poison enemies is something unique and fun. But scary. Oh, we got the boss. So he's going to be spawning these poison fish, right? Yes. Yes, he is, right. Try and take out everything else first before things get too hectic. Now this is going to... Ooh, ooh, that's a really, really cool attack. Okay, I do think there's a very, very high chance I die here. Um, just because of that attack he just put forward there. Oh yeah, I'm so fucked. <laughs> that's a really cool design for a boss because I don't know if you saw what happened there. But basically, obviously, he spawned a bunch of fish that will spread forth poison when you kill them. And then he sucks you towards him. So he kind of pulls you into that lingering poison, making for a pretty difficult boss. We'll take a screwdriver, why not? But I, I kind of like that. I'm, I'm going to try and go there again, I think. I like these alternate paths we can take. Now, yeah, I don't use the pop-pop ability too much as this guy. It really depends on the, uh, the weapon that I've got to how relevant it is. A lot of the time, you don't really need it. Um, but there is some weapons that it makes a lot of sense that, like, fire slowly and stuff. Yeah, we'll go here. Like, this it makes a lot of sense for, because we can just get a super quick kill there. Um, and then this time, let's go for Gamma Guts. Ooh, 
Good. We just need a setup where we have a, a good amount of range to work with. I've got a lot of these guys. Good, good. Quickly check what our weapon is. Frost pistol, I'll take. Another screwdriver. And... Got gamma gut so far. Let's go with alien intestines. And then let's go with rhino skin as well. But frost pistol, while not particularly heavy damage, obviously the ability to freeze is super useful for us, so... Rather nice. Then yeah, we can use alien intestine when there's a, a lot of enemies grouped up like that. Back here, you. Good, good. Then we get a wrench. Nah, I'm okay for the wrench. Thank you. Oh, really? It spawned the pole all the way back over there. Did you have to? Did you have to? It's okay, though. We made it. Right, up to level 5 already. That's pretty good. Um, I'm going to go with Plutonium Hunger. I don't take that that often. But yeah, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to basically ignore most of the enemies in the boss and stuff. Um, and then wait until my uh, thingy is charged up. Stop sucking me towards you, buddy. A little annoying. There you go, then do that. There you go, that works out. There was a gun there below him that I just saw. Curious to see what, what gun that was. It was like a morph over here or something. Uh, we'll go with rabbit paw here. It's a bomb launcher. Okay, dangerous but interesting. A bomb launcher. Oh. Made a, a very, not very nice sound. Basically, enemies that are going to traverse and, like, take the bomb away, I'm all, all good with. If you're going to keep the bomb to yourself and take it away from me, that's fine by me. That explosion is insanely large. It's definitely a little scary to, uh, to utilize. Yeah, the freezing here, although the damage isn't high, the freezing is useful. What's this skull do? Does this skull do anything? Ah, damn it. Don't think it does anything there. Beautiful. I wonder if there's a limit to how long, like, how big the uh, radius can get for how long you leave it. That was a bit unfortunate there. Good. Good, good. Have ammo here as well. Toxic launcher will take over that. Actually, to be fair, nah, Toxic Launch is probably better for the boss we've got coming up here. Here we go. Straight through. Just get rid of that because it's annoying. You've managed to kill yourself. Nice one. Okay, is the boss already shooting at us? Because if it is, that's a little... Yes, I'm pretty sure it is, because that's... That's a... a, a excuse me, buddy. That's a, a frankly insane amount of projectiles. Okay. Calm yourself now, buddy. How are you not dead yet, my guy? I would have thought the poison would have got you by now. We just about got through that. Where's the portal at? That was tricky. We didn't really have the weaponry for that, clearly. Um... We'll go with the, the every fourth hit. I'm going to take the Director Slugger as well here. Seems useful. 
Although the fact that it's not one-shotting these guys is a little scary. Okay, we got a fro another frost weapon here. We got a frost assault rifle, so happy with that. Much better for damage. Oh, I walked into that sheep and it just died. I apologize. I didn't expect that to happen. But yeah, also the, the rapid fire of this is going to keep enemies frozen for a long time too, which is nice. I'm getting hit quite a lot here. Nice, we need some HP in a second here. Dude, the ammo consumption here. Oh, there's some HP finally. Got some of that as well. I forgot I have Plutonium Hunger as well, that's helping out. And then we've got the Blood Plasma Gun, which sounds fun. I'll take that. We've got Bouncer. We'll take... Oh, I left my frost gun behind. I didn't mean to do that. My bad. I'll take that for now. Okay. Blood plasma. With bouncer. Good thing about blood is it does destroy shots, but obviously at the cost of damage. We really don't have a very good setup for this boss, to be honest. Our weaponry is not great. Yeah. Unfortunately, our weaponry was pretty terrible for that boss, honestly. Like, surprisingly so. Screwdriver will keep. Honestly, going down that path is something that I need to be a bit more uh, cautious of when I've got um, not great weaponry. If I've, if I've not got something really good early, I ought to give that uh, path a skip. It's same with this first area, to be honest, as well. I need something pretty good before I go down there. Take a pop gun, shall we? I don't know what's better, the pop gun or golden revolver, to be honest. I like the pop gun more. And that's all that really matters. Lovely. Uh, we'll take scary affairs here. Good, do a few pop pops. Hand cannon. Hand cannon's kind of fun. Yeah, hand cannon's got a bit of AoE to it and stuff, so I like it. Means we can miss a little bit and still be okay. Haha, -ha, killed you through the wall with a screwdriver. What are you going to do about that? Um. I think I'm going to take Rage here. I really like the um, the expanded mutation list. What, one of my, like, I don't know how many of you have played vanilla Nuclear Throne, but one of my biggest gripes with Nuclear Throne is that there isn't an, enough mutations for the game to be interesting in the long term. Like, there's, there's really a few good ones, a few bad ones, and a few, like, works and specific run ones. And that's kind of it. And it, there's not much variety from run to run mutations, but with the ones that this mod adds, there's, there's really is some hard decisions to make. Um, and quite like quite a lot of them are good, and even the ones that used to be bad have been buffed to be decently good. So th there's certainly some some difficulty in picking what you might want. Uh, Jawbreaker, nah, I'll stay away from that. We are going to try and get a full run done here, because I want to go to YV's proper mansion. When you play as YV, you get like a big pseudo sort of weapon area before you um, fight the throne, so I want to go there. Yeah, this thing's doing a reasonably good job right now. I should be careful with this thing splitting bullets that I don't accidentally um, shoot the car. I suppose I want to be really careful. I could use the screwdriver a little more. Yeah, let's, let's, let's move over here a little bit and... Uh,
leave you for a second. Cool. We're back home. Um, and then here we'll take... Tough Shell, I think. Tough Shell's pretty good. Okay, we're getting to the point where some enemies aren't being one-shot by this anymore. Which is fine, just something we need to keep in mind. Okay, we've got one of the rocket guys here as well. Golden Splinter Gun is very good. That, that's, that's a really decent one to get gold. Um, because now it means that if we get Bolt Marrow... So for one, it's just good damage, but for two, if we get Bolt Marrow early, it, it carries us for a good while. Cool. Nice. That's a really good golden weapon to grab there. Um, let's go get Alkaline Saliva again. This is the sort of point where we need a better weapon now. And let's see. Well, auto shotgun is certainly better than the bullet cannon. Fast fire rate shotgun is very good. Good. Using this thing now because it just makes more sense. I'm waiting for this guy to wake up at the worst time, but luckily we got pretty lucky with him uh, waking up there. There you go, look at that. Auto shotty. Absolutely amazing. Obviously it burns through ammo, so you got to be a little careful. Good thing as well is about alkaline saliva, as you just saw there, it stops us from losing rage. Because the first hit doesn't count as a real hit, and therefore we don't, we don't actually take the hit and lose the rage. That I did lose, um, because that was being stupid. I probably should use my auto shotty here, to be honest. I think it'd be more lucrative. Super Splinter Gun. There you go. Nice upgrade for that. Last enemy remaining. Cool. We didn't lose all of our rage there. We did some good stuff. Move back on through. I'm a little bit still iffy on my weapon selection here. They're both good, but they're both ammo hungry. Um, which is not great. YV's brap. I don't use that too often. Um, let's go with boiling veins just as a precaution here. See, like that, that explosion there would have killed me. Damn it. Oh, I found that boss hard. Okay, first of all, let's make sure that we go and um, go and put on this. I mean, we have it on random selection right now. I just want to see if, so if I start as this guy now, how do I quick restart? Apparently enter is also a shoot, I did not know that. Uh, how do you quick restart? There used to be a button for it, what is it? Right, kill me. Kill me. Yeah, okay, I, I started with a splinter gun this time, nice. Good stuff. Yeah, so a splinter gun, super duper good starting weapon. And as I said, really, really strong if we, got, if we get bolt marrow early on, which obviously isn't super likely with all the different mutations, but it's not super unlikely either. So we're hoping for it as early as we can get it. Right, good. Also, eagle eyes would also work pretty well with this. Oh, we've got one of these for the first time in ages. There it is. We got lucky. We got lucky, I tell you. Boss dead already. Kraken pistol is pretty good. We'll take that. Amazing. So th this should carry us for a little while here. Um, extra fire rate. I probably could go with extra drops, actually. Um, having extra drops with uh, this weapon to gain more ammo 
is going to be pretty useful. Is that everything? I don't think it is, right? I'll take the screwdriver again, though, for another golden weapon. Why not? And we got level 4 here as well. Beautiful. One second. Right, let's keep this going. Like I said, up to level 4 now, so that's good. We've got one remaining enemy over here. Chilling. Well, this is this is looking good, this one. This is looking good. Um, so let's go with the preload shots. Preload shots is pretty useful with this setup. Again, we've got to be careful we don't accidentally blow up the um, thingy car here. I want to try and get all the XP before we go down there, though. Cool. And through we go to get another golden weapon. I want to be doing this with every character, really. Obviously going pizza sewers to try and get the thingy uh, screwdriver if we don't already get one. Seeing Rabbit's Paws paying off already, for the most part. Okay. Yo, yo, gun. Okay, that's a good golden weapon right there. Oh my god. Okay, we get some good golden weapons right now. Um, Go with this for even more fire rate and we're down to the thingy version of this. Oh, we got another golden weapon. Okay. Inverted versions of these flaws are pretty amazing. We got a swarm going on. That's nice. Sacrifice weapon mods, no thank you. I like my weapon mods as they are right now, please. Okay, good stuff. Mini flame cannon, we can take that now. God damn it. Always walk into those dudes. I've only got one enemy left all the way over here. It'll probably be another one of those turrets. Indeed it was. I'll try and be more cautious with this, uh... I need to stand way further back is my problem. There you go. Worked out this time. Yeah, I just gotta stand further back when I fight that boss. Otherwise, it, it becomes a bit tricky. I'm not really using pop at the minute either. Pop's not super useful with this setup right now. I can use it. Like, there's no, no sort of thing against it, but it just doesn't help that much. More HP there's lovely. Wanna get that car before one of you bitches picks it up. Those rads, boy. Bouncer assault rifle, I'll take that. Mini flame cannon. Okay, mini flame cannon's probably better actually. We'll take that. Um Hammerhead. I think I've accidentally bugged it. There's now a, f a constant fire sound going on. Okay. To deal with a little hunter next floor as well. Got to be prepared for that. Get out of here, you guys. Accelerator. Oh, the shot just gets larger the more it travels, I see. That's pretty good. I like that. Cool. I like the fact that Hammerhead gives you that extra stuff 
at the end of every stage. It makes it so valuable because it means you've got the ability to walk through walls if you want it. But if you don't, it's just like ability to get some healing on the next floor, get some ammo on the next floor, stuff like that. It's multi-purpose. I like that change to it a lot. Okay, here's our boy. Okay, got him very easily. Luckily that accelerator is pretty good damage. Good. Heavy revolver. I think I'm pretty okay with what I've got now. Apparently there's another enemy left back over this way. Another few actually. Oh god, that's who it is. God damn it. The fuzz. Um, go with bloodlust here. Bloodlust is good. We've created a fairly survivable build, I'd say. Who else we got going on over here? Accelerator time, maybe. Yeah, it does, like, fuck all damage up close. You've really got to keep your distance to, to make the most of this thing. Oh, really? You managed to hit me there. Fuck okay. yeah. I'm liking the swarm edition we've got on this thing as well. It's really nice. Okay, in, in, in corridors like this, that thing's kind of useless. Auto shotty again. I'm in a really bad spot for fighting this guy right now. I'm really not liking the circumstances under which I'm fighting this guy, but luckily we made it work. He doesn't have a lot of HP. What? A bat just kamikaze suicided into me. This time we got a yo-yo gun, I think. Lovely. <laughs> I love this. Have we got a grenade launcher here as well? Nice. Golden yo-yo gun for the win, baby. See, this is where we can do this more often now, because it's it's riskier, but we start with much better weaponry. And see the crazy damage it's able to do. Pair it with scarier face. Damage is even crazier. It does damage on the way there and back as well. Got him. Kraken pistol. I don't think we need. Grenade launcher I'm not going to use too much, but it's there. Got him. And then... Power craving. Kind of good. I like taking that early. How did that not hit that fish? Come on now. Oh, it's so beautiful. Obviously, you got to be a little careful because it's not guaranteed you're going to hit everything and the ammo is kind of all over the place with this. Damn it. Another bad hit there. Another bad hit. Okay, I think I'm going to leave this episode there, though, for YV. Good old YV. Oh, I keep doing that. I keep accidentally closing the game while I'm trying to talk. My bad. You can hear it. Either way. Either way. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Uh, I think next episode we'll maybe go in as... Who should we go in as? Steroids, maybe, next episode? Why is it still a black screen? There you go. Or maybe I'll try another one of the modded characters, like the business hog. Uh, I know Skeleton isn't modded, but he's been changed a lot. I could do Skeleton. There's quite a few I could go with here. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.